Hello everyone. Have you ever thought of there's a way for you to actually look at a pink color on, on designs that look almost like your home before you actually go to the paint store and waste half an hour looking at their paint palettes? Well, there is. I'm going to show you three websites for the three most popular brands where you can find locally around any hardware store or in an actual paint store. Sherwin-Williams, Benjamin Moore, and Baird.com. Bear is normally the paint you can find in the Home Depot stores. So from here in the Bear.com website, oh, just to let everybody know, if you want to go specifically to how to use the program on each one of these, I'm going to let a bubble come up right now, letting you at the specific minute and second, you could go for Benjamin Moore and for Sherwin-Williams. But let's continue with Bear. With Bear, all you have to do is go to find your color and paint your place virtually. This website requires you to subscribe, so when you click on subscribe, a form will come up. I'm already registered, but a form will come up, just fill it out, and then you'll be able to start using Paint Your Place. In case you try to log in afterwards, the way you will, lo you will log in back into your workbook um, on what you were working on would be down here in my workbook, right? But let's look at the designing tool for bear.com. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to try to keep it short and keep it quick, as this could take long explaining details. So I'm going to select palettes, but you could play around with it right away. So bear.com allows you to select the color name and number if you have it for the bear paint. Browse colors if you only have ideas. I want blue, pink, purple, whatever it is. An inspirational library if you have no clue of what you want to paint inside that room, but you want ideas for it. Let's go to browse colors. For the what I will be designing, it's a bathroom with two colors that normally people wouldn't select for a bathroom. I'm going to select blue and brown. So let's go with it. For, so, for the blue, I want something like a sky blue, a little bit darker. This looks good. Right here, it tells you the name right off the bat, Costa Rica blue, with the number for the bare paint. Select this color. I want to coordinate this as the main color. Bear actually allows you to either coordinate it. You're going to click on coordinate right here in this area. It allows you to coordinate it as the main color or an accent color if you don't want it as a primary. I want it as a main color. And from here, it gives you more selections um, or ideas that you could use it as a main color for. You could place more combinations if you think those colors are not something that you were thinking of. I actually liked the one that had the brown in it so I'm gonna select the one with the brown in it but I want it a little bit darker so you can actually adjust this on this program you could click on select the actual color you want to adjust which is the brown and I actually wanted a little bit more yellow I would say so that's all the yellow for it and a little bit darker this one looks good so once you selected the colors and you adjusted the colors for each one of the ones that you want, you can select preview. And Bear actually allows you to upload a photo if you have one, use one of your own photos, or use a sample photo. For the purposes of the video, let's use a sample photo, but you could use your own photo and see how you'll be able to play around with that. Um, like I said, I will. I'm trying to adjust how these colors look in a bathroom before going to purchase the paint itself. And this one has a tub and a sink, but you could look at their selections of other bathrooms that they may have just to see if it looks like one of the ones that you have. I'm going to select this one with the bathroom and the sink because it has the accent window all the way towards the end. And that's exactly almost how my bathroom looks in my house. Bear actually allows you to select the color and adjust it to each one of the walls. Um, others allow you only to select all the walls or all the ceiling. So here we can select this blue for this background wall. And if you want, you can continue either applying that blue to the side walls or take one of the other colors and apply it to each one of the walls around. So I selected this blue as the other two colors to be set off. Now the brown, I was thinking more for the ceiling. 
So like even those these colors wouldn't be ones that you would select straight off the shelf. Here it gives you an idea of how it would look in your home before you actually purchase them. This is a little bit more lighter with that dark navy blue that I was adding before. It's a little bit darker. Whatever your decision is, it's up to you. But here you could see the colors before you actually go and purchase the bear paint. To know the name of these colors, press on modify color and click on the color itself. When you click, here it will display it. It's the Costa Rica blue. And here's the number for that color. For the brown, it's the warm earth. And here's the number for that color. For that navy blue type of color, but it's really called Neptune blue, here's the actual model number for that color. So for whatever color you want, you can select right away and jot down the name of each one of those colors. That way you could go to your local Home Depot store and purchase it from them like that. The other option you have, you can actually print options. You can select the sheen, this is the type of shine you want. Um, you can ask your Home Depot rep what would he recommend for what type of room, normally for bedrooms, living rooms. I would recommend satin eggshell, kitchen, bathroom, kids' room. I would recommend a semi-gloss because those you could clean very well without damaging the paint. If you don't care about this and you just want to print the colors that you had selected before, you could press here on print. Well, this is it for the bear.com tool. Let's go to the Benjamin Moore one. For the Benjamin Moore, I already have it open, unfortunately, but I will go straight to their website. That way I can show you straight off what does it look when you click on the personal color viewer. So in order to access their program right away, you're gonna click on this frame. From that frame, you're gonna select the type of room you want to adjust. Let's go and look at a bedroom. From the bedrooms, they give you many selections of bedrooms. That way you could select the one that looks or resembles like the one at your home. Um, from this one, remember there was one that looks very similar to many of the homes. So from here, from their palette, it's a little bit different from Bear. They only give you the option to either adjust from this color palette, what's gonna be the wall, what's gonna be the ceiling. Here, if you have an, doesn't give you an, an option for an accent wall because it normally has only, that's the other thing. Like some of their other images, if you see two colors on the walls, that means that from that, pro, from that view of that image, you could adjust the accent wall. But this one only allows you walls and ceiling. So for the walls, if you want something here, show you more historical colors, which are like pastel colors. If you actually want their whole view of all their colors, you have to select from up here, color collection, classic colors. Let's go with a lavender purplish violet. So for their walls, let's put a softened violet, right? And for their ceiling, the actually white satin that they have there looks very nice. But if you want something a little bit more lighter, you could click towards the sides, whether you want it more bluish or more purplish. You could go with this misty lilac. lilac. And there you adjust how the ceiling will look and how the walls will look. And on the bottom here, it shows you the name of the colors. And if you look at the bubble that pops up, it says body color, softened violet, 1420. That's the actual number of the color. If you go to a Benjamin Moore store or your hardware store to get those colors. The same thing with the misty lilac for the ceiling. That's the color name. And the 2071 is the actual color number. This one was very quick to show. Let me show you the Sherwin Williams one. For Sherwin-Williams, when you click on it, you have to scroll all the way to the bottom. Just in case, get ready to paint. They actually give you $10 off coupon on any $50 or more if you plan to spend more than $50 on paint. So it's also a great coupon to use with Sherwin-Williams. But to launch their tool, you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and click on Launch, Visualize, launch Visual, Visualizer.
Normally this takes a bit, so I'm gonna press pause until it comes up. So it took almost like a minute to come up, but after it comes up, this is the screen that you're gonna see for the visualizing designing tool that they have. Um, for them, let's select a living room. So you can select what type of room you want from here. And something that may resemble most of the living rooms out there, I would say would be this one, where there's hardly windows on that wall. So with them, you actually, it's a little bit more complex. You have to go either lighter, brighter, more violet, darker, brighter, I mean less brighter, more orange. Let's go a little bit more orange and less bright. So the way with this tool, the way you use it is that you have to click on the color that you want and you have to drag it to the wall. So there you go. You actually selected that color as the color that you're going to use as the accent wall. Um, I don't like the Sherwin Williams that much because it doesn't let you see more of the outside. It's just like a specific place in your living room. If it'll color the whole entire walls the same way with the bare one, it allows you to see it on every single wall. But if you're going to use Sherwin Williams paint, all you have to do if you decided that this color is the one that you want, hover over the actual color itself and there it's going to tell you that the color is 6870 ablaze. It pops it up in a little bubble. Well, I know it's a little bit long this video. Hope this helps you out at deciding what type of color you want for your home. If you have any questions, let me know. Ciao.